It's an honor indeed to welcome to the program a multi-CMA award winner, ACM and Music City Awards, singer, songwriter, performer, and if I dare say, legend in his own right, Mr. David Frizzell joins us. Welcome. Hey, how you doing today? Real good. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you taking the time to chat with us a little bit. Well, fantastic. You know, you mentioned all the ACMs and CMAs and all that kind of thing, and yeah, and they didn't call me or give me an award. I was so disappointed in that. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I kept waiting for it. Well, man, I got a few of those on my mantle, though. Yes, sir, you do. That was, yes, nice. sir, that was a nice time. Well, tell me, David, I know you have uh, been carrying on quite the musical legacy. All got started for you, what, as a teenager when you began touring with your brother, the right. legendary Lefty Frizzell. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about those early years? Well, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> if a guy has to go on OJT, on-the-job training, there's, no, there's nothing better than, than that what I went through uh, to be uh, in the business that I wanted to be in. I, I, I don't think I could take a college course or, or go to any school in the world that would have taught me the things I learned just by traveling around with Big Brother Lefty in those days. We got a chance uh, to uh, work with some of the great and became friends with a lot of them. And back when I was 16, 17 years old, we were, we were working with Johnny Cash, Johnny Horton, uh, Carl Smith, and all the great ones, you know. And what a, what a way to, to, to be brought into this business. I wouldn't have been able to get anywhere near these guys, though, if it hadn't been for Big Brother Lefty for Zell. One of your biggest hits, David, was done with Shelley West. A lot of folks thought you two were a couple, but that not, wasn't the case at all, was not, it? Not at all. Uh, she was uh, she was with my brother Alan, and um, and they were married for a while, and uh, had a baby girl, and uh, very talented. All those all those uh, all those people are very very talented people, and and but no, I got a chance to sing with her for a while, and and we made country music history during that time. Now I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about one of the most requested songs on this very program. What insight, David, can you give us regarding I'm Gonna Hire a Wino? <laughs> that is such a, uh, an unbelievable song. Um, back, we were riding pretty high on, on, the, on the song uh, You're the Reason God Made Oklahoma, me and Shelley was. Mm -hmm. And we was doing 20, 25 dates a month. We was out on the road all the time. And, and, they were, and my producer out of L.A., was sending us songs out on the road so we could listen to some of them, pick what, what we wanted to do, and, and get a chance to kind of live with them a while. Well, one of the songs was that particular one, I'm Going to Hire a Wino, Decorate Our Home, written by a good friend of mine, Dwayne Blackwell. He was already a friend of mine at that time. And uh, I listened to that thing, and I couldn't believe it. I, I had to listen to it again. I said, I don't think I've ever heard a song put together any better than this. Uh, and it, in fact, was a number one record. You know, if I could just get lucky enough to have one about a half like that again, uh, I'd say my my career has, has, has had some, some really good uh, things happen in it. All right, a couple of just a quick questions here just to wrap things up. Okay. Just kind of off the wall. If given the opportunity, any artist, living or dead, that you'd like to do a duet with? Oh, man. Oh, goodness, what a, what a great question. There are so many. Um... Gosh, you know, Lefty was my favorite, you know. Mm -hmm. There's nobody vocally or any other thing that uh, hits my ear and my heart like Lefty Frizzell did. Merle Haggard obviously does, too. Uh, as far as females, man, you've opened up a whole different thing. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I love a lot of them. There's a lot of great voices out there. Any song out there so good that you wish you'd have written it? There's a lot of them. There's just a lot of them. And I like that poncho and Lefty. But there's a lot of great ones. There's, there's several that I've heard just recently, and uh, I want to I want to keep my keep my voice on some of them for a, for a while to come. So you're at a concert. Somebody comes up. They ask for your autograph. You oblige. What's the silliest thing anyone ever had you sign? <laughs> oh gosh, let's. I don't know if you want to get into that now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've signed everything from 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 uh, babies to. To, uh, to popsicle sticks, to everything that you can imagine that I can't tell you. And I love all those people out there. And, and I've signed everything from napkins to, to matchbook covers to just their hands, you know, their, their arms, their T-shirts, and whatever, you know. And shy of anything that I may have said during this conversation, i got to know, 
What is the strangest interview question you were ever asked? Oh, gosh, I, I mean, that, that's another. You're coming up with some good ones here. You're coming up with some good ones. You know, I, I don't know really what that had to That's something that I may have had to, had to think about because I've answered I've talked about all kinds of different things one time or another, and uh, I don't know how to answer that one particularly. You know, there's been all kinds of questions asked, but right at the top, top of my head right now, I can't think of anything that was probably any more than that I'm used to, you know. David, I am so pleased that you took the opportunity to chat with us and uh, wish you the very best in all your endeavors. Thank you, pal. Appreciate your I'll time. I'll talk to you soon. All righty. Thanks, Eddie. Bye-bye now. Hey, this is David Frizzell, and for the best country music in the world, I'm saying, you listen to Eddie Bears.